a video tutorial on how to use Lightburn with the G9. Download the software from the official Lightburn website. There is a 30-day free trial for new users. After the trial, you'll need to purchase a license to keep using it. The official version has been updated to 2.0, with support for galvanometer laser machines. Click here to download. Open the Lightburn. If you haven't purchased a Lightburn license key, click here to start a free trial. If you have already purchased it, you can verify it here. Purchasing a Lightburn Pro version is needed, which supports galvanometer laser machines. The regular version can be upgraded to Pro version by purchasing the upgrade. We need to import the G9 configuration files. The G9 configuration files can be downloaded from the official Sculptfun website on the G9 product page. Select the second one to download. Switch devices. Before using, we need to configure the infrared and blue light parameters. The laser parameters are included in the U-Disc that comes with the G9. If the U-Disc is lost, you can find the G9 code at this position on the machine and contact Sculptfun customer service for inquiries. Take the infrared light as an example. Lightburn can only save one set of parameter configurations, switching the light source requires manual modification of the parameters. Do not open SGD Laser and Lightburn at the same time, as running both simultaneously may cause software compatibility issues. Adjust the parameters. Light source selection, by default, off is infrared light, on is blue light. Before using, we need to disable the safety door feature. Door protect, none equals to off, zero equals to on. Focus. Click on frame to open a window where you can choose different frame types. Click Start on the right to start engraving, or you can also perform it on the main interface. 